the guide to liquidating stocks after death. If your loved one dies and leaves behind a significant portfolio of stocks, navigating the legal process to liquidate those assets can be complicated and often stressful. And if you're the executor or the trustee in charge of handling the estate's property, the complexities can be even more significant. For this reason, it's advisable to consult with an experienced lawyer before making any decisions about how to distribute assets and whether to liquidate them. If you have any questions, schedule a free consultation at rmolawyers.com. How do you liquidate inherited stock? The process for liquidating inherited stock is fairly straightforward. Once the stock is in the beneficiary's brokerage account, they can sell the stock by placing a sell order through the brokerage firm. The beneficiary can choose to sell the stock all at once or sell it in smaller portions over time. The choice is theirs. Before liquidating inherited stock, however, beneficiaries should keep in mind that the sale may have tax implications. We suggest strongly consulting with a tax professional before making any decisions about selling any stock you might inherit. Should the executor liquidate stocks? Whether an executor should liquidate stocks depends on the specific circumstances of the estate and the goals and desires of the beneficiaries. A decision to liquidate stocks should be made in accordance with the terms of the will or the trust and with the best interests of the beneficiaries in mind. If the will or trust specifies that the stocks should be sold, then the executor is obligated to follow the terms of the will or trust and liquidate those stocks. Similarly, if the will specifies that the stock should be transferred, then the executor should obey those instructions as well. If the will or trust doesn't specify what's to be done, then the executor or trustee should consider the financial needs and goals of the beneficiaries when making a decision about whether to sell. Regardless of the decision made, the executor has a fiduciary duty to act in the best interest of the beneficiaries and to manage the estate assets prudently. If the executor is unsure about whether to liquidate stocks, they should consult with their estate planning attorney for guidance. How should we divide inherited stocks? The division of inherited stocks should be guided by the terms of the will or trust, if one exists. If there is no estate planning document available to guide you, then the stock must be divided according to state and testacy laws. If the deceased person had a will or trust, it should specify how the stocks and other assets should be divided amongst the beneficiaries. The executor or administrator of the estate or trustee of the trust should review the will or trust to determine the exact terms of the distribution scheme. However, if the deceased did not leave an estate plan explaining how their assets should be distributed, then the stocks are going to be distributed according to the intestacy laws of the state where the person passed away. Can I contest how stocks are distributed? Sure, you might be able to contest how stocks are going to be distributed in certain situations. However, it's essential that you understand that you cannot contest the distribution of stocks just because you disagree with the deceased person's wishes. Generally, the distribution of stocks in the estate's other assets will be controlled by the deceased person's will or trust. If this document is valid and provides explicit instructions for how those stocks are going to be distributed, the executor or trustee is legally obligated to comply with those terms. For this reason, you typically won't be able to challenge the distribution without contesting the legal validity of the estate planning document itself. However, there may be some instances where the will or trust doesn't explicitly detail who's supposed to receive those stocks or how those stocks are supposed to be distributed. In these cases, you might be able to contest or get some instruction on how those stocks should be distributed. If you disagree with how stocks are gonna be distributed after a loved one passes away, you should consult with a knowledgeable probate litigation lawyer as soon as possible. Your lawyer will be able to explain your rights under the will or trust and advise you as to whether you have an enforceable claim. Have questions? At RMO, we protect people like you every day. Schedule a free consultation at rmolawyers.com. Thanks for watching.